A dangerous brawl, an attack on law enforcement, and then a wild chase. And it all started at a Waffle House in the Golden Triangle. WTV's Chris Knowles joins us live in Columbus with just what happened. I've covered a lot of crime here in the Golden Triangle, but this story particularly stood out to me. I'm at the Waffle House here just off of Highway 45, and this is where witnesses say a, they saw a woman trying to run people over in her car. Columbus Police Department, along with the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office, responded to this call here just yesterday. This is Tiberia Carter. She is charged with four counts of aggravated assault on police with weapon. Carter is also charged with felony fleeing in a motor vehicle. Sheriff deputies initially responded to a help CPD with crowd control. There was a large disturbance there and officers had reports of a driver trying to run people over. But when deputies got there, the sheriff tells us Carter tried to run over one of his deputies in the parking lot. The sheriff says Carter then took off and tried to hit three other deputies in, in patrol cars head on. Sheriff Eddie Hawkins tells me that uh, more about what happened. It can be dangerous with that many people gathering at one place and let's face it, some folks just can't get along. So, uh, you know, we've had numerous incidents at that location throughout the years and uh, it seems to be a gathering place for trouble. There have been problems reported at some Waffle House locations across the country, especially late at night on the weekends. In fact, some locations are offering to go orders only during the night on weekends and holidays. This location here on Highway 45 joins that growing list. It's just too dangerous for some locations to remain open. A lot of those stores are doing the to-go orders only, but that doesn't solve the issue when it comes to parking lot control. I'm going to step out the way and show you these windows that are in now at these Waffle House locations. Right there we see order here and pick up. That's where people will pick up their orders. But as you see, this parking lot is pretty big. It also goes to the back side of the building. And that's where the sheriff says hundreds of people were gathering at. I did reach out to the Columbus Police Department to see if they're going to do something to maybe monitor the crowd to prevent crimes like this from happening in the future. I'm waiting to hear back from them. And I also reached out to Waffle House Stores Corporate Office. Reporting live in Laos County, Chris Noss, WTVA 9 News.